What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben Johnson and today we're going to be taking a look at how to make your audio go from something like this to something a lot cleaner and clearer like this. Let's go. All right, welcome back to the channel. As mentioned before, my name is Ben Johnson and I'm a content creator based here in Atlanta. My goal with this channel is to be a resource to creatives through reviews, tutorials, behind the scenes content, and honest podcasts. So if you are into that sort of thing, go ahead and subscribe to join the creative crew. It really goes a long way towards supporting this channel and it makes sure that you never miss out. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about how to record audio. Most of the time, the raw audio from cameras and smartphones is really not going to be the best because the audio preamps in the devices are, are just not the best. Because of this, you're going to hear a lot of ambient noise and just a lot of noise in general. So the alternative to this is to actually use a microphone. In today's video, I'm going to be recommending three options. For our first option, we're going to be talking about using a microphone and connecting it to your camera. Not all microphones are created equal. There's a lot of different types of microphones for different uses, just like lenses. When it comes to YouTube videos and really interviews in general, I'm going to recommend that you use a shotgun microphone. Shotgun mics are directional. They're going to record primarily from the direction that they are pointing and kind of cancel out stuff that is beside and behind them. When doing this option, you're going to be recording your audio signal directly onto your video files because it's plugged into the camera. And this is going to be a great option for those of you who want less work in post-production. Once you get your shotgun microphone, there's a little bit of a process that you're going to want to do uh, in order to get the most out of it. Once you plug in the microphone, go to your camera settings and find where you can adjust the audio levels. From here, turn down your audio input level pretty much all the way. Then go to your microphone and turn up the gain. You'll wanna mess with this combination until you get a reasonable level for your audio. When setting your audio levels, you'll want to avoid seeing red to yellow peaking on the meters. You can think of this a little bit like a histogram on a camera or just exposure in general. If you're exposing your image and you crank up your ISO, it's going to be very noisy and grainy. Likewise with audio, if you overexpose the signal or if you crank it up too much, the signal will be distorted. Overall, I recommend trying to get your audio levels at around negative 12 decibels. That way you have room to adjust it later in post. The only other thing to mention is try to get your microphone as close to your subject as you can while being out of frame. This next option is really great if you need to have a lot of distance between yourself and your subject. One thing to mention with lapel microphones is typically you'll have the option of wireless or not wireless. With a wireless option, you'll have a transmitter and a receiver. You'll put the receiver onto your camera and the audio signal will be sent directly to your video files being recorded. Basically, this is going to eliminate the need to sync anything in post. However, when using wireless options, you can definitely run into um, issues of interference and that's something that I just don't wanna have to worry about. So for me, I tend to use the non-wireless options for my lapel microphones. My favorite that I've tried so far is the Tascam DR10L. With this unit, you're going to mic up your subject. It could be yourself, it could be someone you're interviewing. The microphone is going to be recording into the mini SD card attached to the unit. The unit itself will give you a ton of different options as far as gain and levels and different recording lengths, all types of stuff. One of my favorite features on this particular unit is being able to record two simultaneous tracks at different audio levels. A lot of times during an interview, there could be moments where people tend to laugh or suddenly talk really loud and you just don't really know when that could happen. And if it does, you don't wanna have your audio suddenly distort. So this kind of gives you a backup audio file that's a lot quieter. So if something like that happens, 
it will even it out later. With this non-wireless option, there will be just a tiny bit of work in post, but it's nothing to be scared of uh, because there's actually a lot of great software out there that will automatically sync your audio for you. If that's something that you'd be interested in seeing in a future video, let me know in the comments below. All right, the last option for recording audio that we're going to talk about today is using an external recorder. Basically what I'll do is just show you exactly what I'm doing right here for this video right now. I'm actually using an external audio recorder directly below the frame right here. Uh, that's a, sort of like a shotgun style microphone that's just recording directly to this device rather than my camera. The audio recorder that I'm using here today is called the Zoom H6. I actually call this the Swiss Army knife of audio recorders because you can change out a bunch of different microphones on it, you can record different ways into it, and you can use it as an audio interface. It's super versatile, super high quality, and overall just one of my favorite audio recording devices. This is providing me a very high quality audio recording by placing it very close to myself, and also I'm not having to wear any sort of lapel or anything in frame. This is not going to be the run and gun style setup. This is definitely more suited for a studio style shot like I have right here. All right, guys, that's going to about wrap up this video. I hope that you have enjoyed this and found some value from it. Audio, when it comes to videos, is such an important thing that a lot of people can sometimes tend to look over. One of the key components to this is actually what you do with your audio in post. And I plan on doing a video of this in the future. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. Before you guys leave, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and as always, stay creative. Peace.